everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing another installment of my Drawing My Favourite YouTubers series. And this YouTuber that I'm drawing today is a bit of a different one to my usual YouTubers that I watch. As you could tell from the title, I am doing some fan art for Kitten Lady. Now, if you're not sure what Kitten Lady is, who, who Kitten Lady is and what she does, she's basically a superhero. <laughs> um, she rescues cats and she has this YouTube channel where she documents her uh, efforts on rescuing orphan kittens and uh, she's basically a huge advocate for these little guys and to be honest uh, I randomly watched one of her videos not even that long ago but uh, she quickly became one of my favorite youtubers not because I love her content or anything which I do but because of what she does Now I'm just going to read a little bit about her from um, her own website actually, which is kittenlady.org. Hannah Shaw is a kitten rescuer, humane educator, and unwavering animal advocate who has dedicated her life to finding innovative ways to protect animals. Her project, Kitten Lady, strives to create global change in the way we perceive and treat the tiniest and most feline vulnerable felines, orphan kittens. Kitten Lady provides educational media, training, resources, and instructional workshops and consulting services that help individuals and animal shelters learn how to save the lives of kittens in a fun and educating format. Kitten Lady has amassed a viral social media following. She shares inspiring and adorable images from the daily life of a kitten advocate on her Instagram and Facebook and educational videos about kitten care th through her YouTube channel. So she basically makes these videos uh, documenting her efforts to rescue orphan kittens and yeah nursing them back to health and a lot of the times it will show her going to collect these animals and she has done some amazing things. She has gone from climbing underneath a spider infested caravan to uh, retrieve these tiny kittens that were left there and uh, to basically helping paralyzed kittens uh, find a way to walk and increase their mobility and find homes for them. And she's basically a superhuman. <laughs> Not in the way of having magical powers or anything, just that she can nurse a kitten from death's door back to life. And you see them in the update videos, how playful and energetic they are just from being in her care. To be honest, I am a huge animal like lover and her work is so inspiring. <laughs> See, that's a little bit about her. Now, I should probably start talking about the art, as you can see, happening. So, I basically wanted to start this illustration off with some digital line art. Now, I did this using my iPad, as you saw before, and I really, really, really like to uh, use my iPad for this sort of thing, just because it's kind of easier to, to do my inking wherever I am, especially if I can't get to my desk. And I can actually erase and make my line art way more refined than I can with uh, my inking pens, which I still like to use, of course. So when I was done with the background, by the way, the background with all of those cats took me like four hours to draw all of them compared to the... Um, the figure her in the front and I actually really 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 like this background uh, to be honest it's probably good enough just to have as an, a standalone illustration but I drew this to be a background for her because she has saved hundreds of lives so I wanted to draw so many cats in the background so basically I printed this off onto some mixed media card and I basically just colored in uh, all of the cats in the background first. Now I tried to keep to a similar color palette for most of the cats 
As you can see, uh, they are mostly desaturated or soft brown colors. Some of them are a little bit more orangey. I've also used a lot of warm grays, cool grays, and some earth tones for the cats. And yeah, I just wanted to keep them a little bit soft and uh, not too standout-ish uh, compared to her, which is going to be in the foreground. Because I wanted her to stand out a little bit because this is a very, very busy and detailed illustration. So I just wanted to make sure that it didn't look too crazy. So basically I just colored in all of these cats and I tried to keep in mind what colors looked nicer together. As you can see there are more grays that are sort of closer together and then the oranges are sort of closer to uh, brownie kind of colors. I didn't want them just to be too intense. Uh, it was a very hard thing for me to make sure it was really good looking but also not too full on looking. And that's probably why I kept her clothes very simple because I wanted her to stand out more. After I colored in most of the illustration in the background, I actually decided to go over some of the line art again, mainly because I printed out the background's line art in a sort of soft brown color. And with a lot of these darker colors that I'm going over the top, some of that line art kind of got a little bit lost. So I just decided to go back over it in some parts just to bring that detail back. Now that I had done the background to uh, what I liked, I decided to go in with the foreground. I mainly decided to use the background first because I, I just feel like that's the most of the illustration. So I try to get that out of the way first before going in with the um, foreground and basically I can shade and stuff nicer. So for her skin I did my usual method. I went in with an under layer of purple uh, on the skin because I really like the way that that looks and I think it makes, makes it look so much more lively. And then I went in with the shadows over the top of the purple with a bit of uh, raw silk, I believe it was. And then for the lighter parts of the skin, I used milky white. I made sure to put a bit of pink in her cheeks there, and also a little bit of pink in other places that would be uh, sort of flushed. And that actually helps a lot to add more liveliness to the skin. As you can see, I actually printed out her tattoos. I drew them roughly, but like, it's hard to see what they really look like in photos because most of the photos are different angles and not all the references I got were very high quality. So I tried to draw them to the best of my knowledge, but they may not be perfect. But yeah, I actually really love the uh, decision I made to print out the line art parts of her tattoos in uh, a gray color instead of black because that makes it a little bit less intense and with the skin colors going over the top of that gray they really do look like tattoos I think. After I got most of her skin down and her hair down uh, most of the illustration was done other than her clothes and after that I actually went in with some colors over the top of her tattoos. Now I tried to keep it mostly to what it looked like but if it's not perfect, like don't attack me because as I said before, it's hard. But yeah, other than that, it was just mostly some little details here and there to fine tune the illustration and get it to where I like it. Now the cats she's holding in uh, her arms here are her own two pet cats. Now these two cats are cats that she has rescued but they're her permanent pets. Uh, most of the kittens she rescues, she does find homes for, but these two are her special two cats. And yeah, I really wanted to include them in her illustration because to be honest, they are very cute and I just thought that it was fitting for her to hold her two cats. Now, just a nice once over with some more details, add some gel pen in some places for some highlights and just, you know, a little fine tune here and there. And we are mostly done. 
So here is the final illustration and to be honest this is one of my favourite artworks I have created thus far. I'm actually super proud with how it turned out. I really like the background and the line art and pretty much all of it which is rare for me because usually when I do an illustration there's something off about it that I don't like. But anyways, uh, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this illustration. Make sure you go and check out Kitten Lady. I will leave her links in my description of my video. And yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. <laughs>